The Guardian newspaper is having another meltdown over the return of Faulty Towers, a classic British sitcom. Why? Because, uh-oh, it's not woke. <laughs> All right, we're going to have so much fun with this one. Faulty Towers, a classic sitcom. You know, a lot of people love it. Some people just found it like, eh. But some small niche of millennials and younger generation decided to have a meltdown a few years ago and just tried to cancel it because John Cleese, who was the, the lead actor in it and um, behind the whole project, uh, was politically incorrect. This show was based on like decades ago. So some of the jokes were politically incorrect, but it was fine back then. And I can assure you, I might sound like an old man here. I rewatched it again. Even to today's standard, it's not bad. It, it It's still politically not that politically incorrect. It, it, it's a funny jokes. It's called comedy. Get used to it. But, so they, were, they didn't like that we made fun of the Germans. Why, why should the Germans be protected when it comes to comedy? Anyway, so this is the Guardian article. Stuart Heritage wrote this. <laughs> An anti-woke nightmare. Why the Faulty Towers remake is a truly nauseating idea. <laughs> It's a nightmare, anti-woke nightmare. I'm going to show you the best, my favorite parts of this article. We're not going to go through the whole thing because it's boring. But I just find it fascinating that actually Andrew Doyle, um, one of the sound comedians, actually said, oh, look, it's a Guardian getting all hot and bothered over a show that hasn't even been made yet. <laughs> and then he said, if Mary Whitehouse were alive today, she'd be the Guardian's chief columnist. Oh my god. But well, I don't think that was ever gonna happen with Mary Whitehouse. She was she was way too socially conservative. But let's go to this bit. Alright. The first paragraph says Have you spent the last day or so with an unexplainable stomach ache? A sort of drifting quizness that rolls in and out of nowhere and destabilizes you? Me too. And I think I know why. I think it's because John Cleese is rebooting Faulty Towers. <laughs> Or maybe you just had bad fish. Maybe you, were, you had food poisoning. <laughs> Do you really think that every every single person had stomach ache yesterday? It was because Faulty Towers is coming back. Not many people even knew about it. Calm down, Guardian. Anyway, let's go. So, it says, the beginning of the first um, paragraph says, uh, the world needs, oh, the, the fact that the, the world needs a Faulty Towers reboot as much as it needs to be kicked down a well, um, a well by a horse. So the point is, it's not really a priority. It's, it's better to get kicked down, kicked down a well by a horse than rebooting Faulty Towers. And it, the whole thing goes completely to attack John Cleese and his comedy and his, his, his talent, basically. And saying that all reboots and remakes that we have in, in history have always failed. And then they realize, oh, well, we, we're going to have to like at least say that Frasier was actually a good uh, reboot or it wasn't a reboot it was it was it was a spin-off show by the way but um it makes no sense why they assumed that if if they just brainwash the readers of guardian you don't need to brainwash the guardian readers they already brainwashed <laughs> anyway it says imagine this john cleese as basil for a faulty imagine him navigating the modern world and all that involves Imagine how every episode will end with him complaining about council culture until he, until he runs out of breath. Imagine how the series will finish with a 45-minute sequence in which he curls up into a ball and babbles about how everything is far too woke these days. I would love to see that. <laughs> that's that's just classic um, Basil Fawlty. That's the whole point of the character. This guy is saying... Oh my God, it's going to be so annoying to see. Um, do you think it's funny to see like an old man like John Cleese and, and, and his character just spending the whole show complaining about woke culture? Complaining, complaining, complaining. You do realize that the majority of Hollywood, TV and movies are based on woke people spending the whole time during the TV show or movie complaining 
about the boomer generation or about things being backwards or oppressive. They literally, all the characters, all these woke ca characters you see on Netflix shows and movies is about the fact that they just go around having meltdowns saying, why is everyone so oppressive and backwards? Why are you not open? You're proving the points right, right? <laughs> the absolute idiocy. Calm down. It's comedy. It, it's, just, it's just a joke. Move on. It's funny. Anyway. Let me know in the comment section if you're looking forward to the return of Faulty Towers. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.